India is all set to become a part of the BEPS project. What's BEPS? Base Erosion Profit Shifting. Essentially an international framework in which countries decided to come together and ensure that there is greater transparency, there is better reporting of earnings in each individual country and a very clear method of paying taxes and the right amount of tax as well. This has been in the making for several years now and India was always going to be a willing participant and that time has come. We understand that the actual signing ceremony is going to be in Paris in the first week of June. Now what will it mean for India to become a signatory to the MLI or the multilateral instrument under BEPS as it's called? Well, uh, bilateral treaties are the most important uh, takeaway for India right now. Under BEPS and under this project, essentially all the participating nations need to ensure that their individual bilateral treaties with each other uh, are part of the overall convention and they comply with the BEPS norms. Now, what does this mean for India? We know that India has recently reworked its treaties with Mauritius, with Singapore and, of course, with Cyprus. Now, it's interesting. I've been speaking to a lot of people within the industry and there are different interpretations that are coming through. Well, one inter interpretation says that uh, uh, individual treaties will not always be overridden by the MLI or the multilateral instrument. There are some other tax experts who are saying that there could be a case where existing treaties, for instance, the India-Mauritius Treaty, if it doesn't have an LOB or a limitation of benefit clause, or if an existing treaty doesn't have a specific purpose test, then that tweaking will have to be done. These treaties will have to be made BEPS compliant. The other bigger takeaway and this is very important for the market, what happens to grandfathering? Because remember, all the current treaties, whether it's with Cyprus or Singapore or Mauritius, they all allow grandfathering of all prior investments up till the 1st of April 2017. And now listen to this one carefully. BEPS does not have a grandfathering clause. It doesn't have the concept of grandfathering. So with India becoming a member, a signatory, will grandfathering still be allowed? One of the tax experts I spoke to did say that, yes, India can always say that that treaty amendment has already happened. So this new clause will apply to future treaties and future amendments that might arise. Last but not the least, market participants will very, very keenly watch what happens to the India-France double taxation avoidance treaty because that treaty allows capital gains exemption. A lot of new structures have been coming up where investors are choosing the France route to put money into India. So how will the France-India treaty be sort of reworked, if at all, in the light of the BEPS project? That's something definitely worth watching.